Hi, this is Dr. Ferrantelli with Posture Screen. So, what is Posture Screen? Well, it's the most popular gold standard for posture movement assessments out there. It's used widely by universities for clinical research as well as clinicians worldwide, as well as fitness professionals as a documentation tool plus an educational tool because we make assessments meaningful to the client or the patient, not just for documentation purposes. Best of yet, it is so inexpensive and also so easy to use compared to things that you may have used in the university setting. So let's go ahead and get started. So with a posture assessment, it does markerless tracking as, as well as with movement assessments it does the same thing. So here we have an example of markerless tracking. This AI allows for assistance in digitization of the, of the anatomical landmarks to help drastically speed up an assessment. Literally, you can do assessments in seconds with Posture Screen and have a report ready to go into your electronic health records or send to the patient a friendly version of the interpretation. And best of yet, it's all in the palm of your hand. So let me just go ahead and show you a little bit more. So I have a patient right here. She has multiple exams. And the, the greatest thing about this is the ease that you can do comparisons between multiple exams as well, too. So I'm just going to briefly show you a couple things as far as I'm going to show you that we can do a, a posture view, two view, a four view with all the details that you need all in the palm of your hand, generate the report so a patient would get something simple like this type of documentation report that explains you know, their forward head posture, hey, their head weighs 32 pounds, and as well as you can even document their pain on a pain diagram as well as visual analog scale as well too. So it's a quite comprehensive, but it, again, it gives the documentation in terms that they need to understand. Now, of course, for a professional, we can of course do professional level documentation where we get all the data points that a professional would need, but you would never wanna share that with the patient, right? Of course, we can also do a movement assessment. Now, what's great about, say, this lateral squat, and we can do APs and PAs and single leg squats and a push up and plank. We link to the evidence-based overactive and underactive muscles, which you can see down here. And it's just an idea to help the clinician, but the best part is, we can link these corrective exercises using a web exercises platform integration to assist on the correctives being sent to the patient to streamline your exercise prescription. So truly unique and different. And so I've already demonstrated that. Let me show you what's new is we have ranges of motion. So not only can we do range of motion for shoulders, okay, and well documented, but we can also do cervical range of motion. I'll show you a single rep cervical range of motion right here. So let's go ahead and show you right here. So cervical range of motion, and again, here's the best part, it visually gives them information they need. So when you do a comparison, they can visually see the difference. It's not just numbers and what's below range or above range. And best yet, you have patient-friendly reports too. So just like I was showing you with posture, if I want to give a cervical range of motion report to the patient, this means something to them in lay terms so they understand. And again, we have the visual aspect right there. We can see that they're moving to one side lateral reflex more than the other. And notice too, we're able to take out the background to make it very look very much professional. Now, if I wanted to have more of a detailed report for a clinician and range of motion, we can do one or three repetitions as well too, and also, mark the point of the onset of pain as well too, so we get those degrees. So we have even more detail right here. Now, we can also, what's unique is with the thoracolumbar spine, we're able to track their posture as well too. So what we like to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a different example for thoracolumbar range of motion. If I go in here, it's best to do it with their, so if I go ahead and generate a report, for a thoracolumbar spine for the patient, notice what we're able to do is we're literally tracking the curvature of their back from start position to flexion and extension, and then reporting back the normal ranges. How cool is that? And of course we can do follow-up exams and comparisons. So there's so much that we can do, and I mentioned exercise prescription 
We also have animations as well too that you can put in here. So if I wanted to say, add exercise prescriptions to this exam, I could come in here and add exercises if you have the web exercise platform integration and based off his posture, and of course you can look at his ranges of motion as well too, and do manual exercise prescription. But how cool is this? If I click posture, these are the mirror image exercises that are specific to this patient, right? So it limited down. Now you as the professional need to find out and choose based off of your assessment or your diagnosis and your understanding with the patient, what can they handle? Because no software can do that. We don't have the history. We don't know what they can do but you do because you did the history with them. So you can assign those exercises and best yet, just like with any exercise content from web exercises, they get a streaming video. So I, I implore you to go ahead and check out the web exercise platform at webexercise.com. We have direct integration and we're the only platform that does for an assessment protocol, truly remarkable. So if I wanted to go ahead and do this, I'm gonna go ahead and assign a forward head posture exercise and let's go back in and Maybe I will go ahead and add a trunk exercise to them for, for their posture. And now I have those exercises that quickly assigned. But if I go into another case where they had say a squat assessment, if I add exercises, watch how cool this is. If I go into exercises here, now I can add exercises based off of their functional movement deficits as well too. So this these exercises, encompass what their lateral squat is telling our system. Of course, you can override this and also choose other exercises because you have total exercise freedom through here as well too. And again, this is the integration directly with web exercises. And last but not least, half the problem with education is calling up specifics so they understand is, well, what is a disc herniation? Well, we have an integration also with the platform known as 3D Practice. It's one of the leaders in animation libraries to help doctors refer to patients and understand their conditions when they're doing a report with them. You can add their content. So say that this person here, they had a disc herniation. I wanna add an animation about their disc. So I can come in here, I can go ahead and click and show them where their disc problem is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn off the grid and I'm gonna scroll, scroll through and show right here. And then basically I can go ahead and circle that, take a screenshot, and now that will go into our application and attach to the reports. And best of yet, you'll get a link in that PDF that they could go ahead and click as well too and open up the animation on their end when they're at home. How cool is that? Last but not least, that's when the patients are in front of you. And of course the app does way more, but imagine being able to do virtual assessments. We have a tool that is called Remote Screen that's free for your patients or your clients to download. And if you have our secure cloud, they can link to the secure cloud, use Remote Screen to have their spouse or family member take pictures and video of them and upload. So let me show you how cool this is. If I go into a case and I go into remote screen and I pull in somebody that was just recently done. So that's Tim. Now Tim is downloading in real time. You can see the progress bar. It's downloading right before our eyes. Now this was from a customer that uploaded it or a patient. And now when I click Tim Smith, this exam was done outside the office it automatically removed the background. This was not done in the office. If I hit start digitization, AI finds the postures, and now I have a virtual assessment that was done remotely, all through the cloud. How amazing would that be to be able to do virtual assessments, virtual body compositions, and yeah, body compositions have been studied using posture screens version called lean screen in our assessment tools as well as you can still continue to use other body compositions and average it with ours in our app and have one inclusive report. There is nothing like posture screen, especially for our affordable price. Nothing can even get close. So for more information, reach out to info at posturescreen.com. And that's it for now. Dr. Joe signing out. Bye-bye.